and 19. And 19. And I said this to uh, Bishop Ford last night, and then somebody, I believe it was Sister Robert Rebo, amen, uh, said the same thing, and I'm pretty sure she didn't hear the conversation last night with Bishop Ford that said we need to get out of the parking lot as soon as the weather goes down the road and have some outdoor services. I'm in our parking lot, and we'll move all, we'll move the chairs, not the benches, but the chairs, and we'll move, we'll move our organ and PA set out there and have church out in the parking lot. Yes. Well, we had, <coughs> last time that I was in, we were in the parking lot, and we had service one man hang and perform. Do you remember that? Because I still, I still have a TV, they gave me a TV. Um, I'm fucking. What? Do y'all remember? We had a really good time. And it was kind of, I think it was just kind of one more time, but everybody showed up. Amen. Amen. We need to do it some more. Uh, we were talking, I was talking. And we were talking for ministry. Uh, one of the worst things that ever happened to the Church of Jesus Christ, and I know we enjoy our tradition, I enjoy our tradition, but how many remember the days of the company when churches had the windows open and the doors open and people would stand out the yard or get chairs, volunteers, and they would hear the gospel? Mm -hmm. That is how. Uh, Sister Queen Esther, how she got saved and came in to the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and her dad would tell her and her, her brother and sister, don't go down to that hole in this church. Amen? But she knew your dad used to do that. Yes. The boys will speak there. Amen. You know, we, the church, we got to do something to get this gospel out. Amen. Amen. We enjoy the Christian charities, we enjoy the air conditioning, but we got to get this gospel out. Jesus was constantly in the open. He was out in the marketplace. Amen. And so, you know, I believe in television, and some of you are spending thousands of dollars on the TV program. We're trying to get this message out. And we still want to see TV, we still listen to radio, but we still got to get the message out. Amen. Everybody wants to go to church, especially those who stop saying. Amen. Amen. So, I believe the Lord was really talking to me about the being this book, and I wish everyone had one in your hands this morning, so we can just go page by page. But anyway, I'm going to uh, just give you a few here and uh, preach about the Holy Ghost. Everybody say Matthew 13 and verse 19. And verse 19. All right. When anyone, this is what Jesus said, when anyone hears what? The word of the kingdom. Whose kingdom? God's kingdom. God's kingdom. Jesus' kingdom. Amen. Okay. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom, and what does the next line say? Understand it not. Praise God. Bless the Lord. The word says in the book of Proverbs, when all I gave you, do what? Get understanding. Get understanding. Praise God. This is why you need to be in Sunday school so we can slow down and, and the teacher can teach and we can raise your hand and ask questions. Amen. Normally on Sunday morning service is not the time to interrupt and ask questions. Amen. 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 That's the Lord. Okay. Now once in a while we may do that, but most of the time 
is the time to expand the word. Praise God. Praise God. Okay. This is chapter 13 and verse 19. When anyone who hears the word of the kingdom and understands it not, then comes the food. The wicked one. Who is that? The devil. The devil. Satan. And he catches away that which was what? Some in his heart. Praise God. Everybody say, my heart. My heart. Is a fertile garden. And what? A fertile garden. A fertile garden. What you let stay in your heart is going to grow. Remember that. What you hear, what you see, you can call eye gates or ear gates. And it goes into your spirit, man, into your heart. Amen? Amen. That's why you have to guard your heart with all diligence. That's what Solomon said in the third and fourth chapter of Proverbs. The fourth chapter of Proverbs. Guard your heart. Guard your spirit, man, with all diligence. Don't let any junk into your heart. Amen? We would dare eat off of a plate that's been got worms crawling in it and the food has been laid out there and been out in the hot sun for three days and ants are all in it and roaches are all in it. I just take a, a bad picture here to let you know people are so careful what they eat and you should be careful what you put in your body but you need to be more careful what you put in your spirit. Amen. Amen. You are a free whole person. Body, soul, spirit. Amen? And then in this chapter, First Thessalonians, your body be sanctified, holy, your mind be sanctified, and your spirit. Your three folk and yet you're still one person. You don't have a split personality. There's not two of you living in there. Unless it's Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Come on. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Okay? So, you feed your spirit man what you see and what you hear. It goes into your spirit. Guard your heart. We're trying to call them. Guard your heart with all diligence. For out of it, out of your heart, flows the issues are the forces of life. What you put in is what you're going to get out of. Yes. Yeah. Yes. If you meditate on General Hospital and jump, jump, jump on the TV and all my little devils, I mean all my children are stomach churned and shield up, bang, bang, ten buckets of blood and I thought you loved me but you did it and come on, I'm going to trade you off and get another one. Hey, Amen. If you eat that stuff, that's going to get in your spirit and first thing you know that you're going to feed on it and then when you feed on it, it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh-huh. Amen? Amen. You are what you eat. That's right. That's what dietitians tell us. That's what health food people tell us. You are what you eat. If you eat junk food all the time, pretty soon you're going to start feeling like junk. <laughs> Amen? That's right. Especially... Young converts, especially little babies. Grandmother Sheila here would not dare to break out a sugar bar and start feeding whole pounds and peanuts to this baby. It would show them. They can't eat that kind of stuff. Even good beef steak. You don't feed beef steak to a baby. Babies have to eat what? Just what this baby is doing. Milk. And the word of God says this in the book of Hebrews. As they desire the sincere milk of the word. Amen. Now one thing we're going to do with God's help, we're going to all get this book. I want you to order it first thing. You can call them today. The girl for 10 days a week on the, on the radio, I mean on the telephone line. Get it as quick as you can because we're going to start teaching out this book. We have got to be here to win some souls. Amen. Amen. I put the scripture water code. Jesus said, follow me 
And I'll take you the great adventure. Fishers of the man. No, follow me and I will make you what? Fishers of man. Most of us are contented with just coming to church, having a good time, serving God for our sins, reading the Bible for our sins. Some of us wait there, but not all of us. That's right, God. The bad that put us Pentecostals to shame when it comes to win the law. Amen. Amen. That's right, God. Because their ears are bad, their thoughts, their thinking, thinking process is I've got to listen to so this week. I've got to get somebody to church. That's right. I've got to get somebody to say it. That's right. But that's evangelical. Yes. Amen. So, here comes the wicked one. If you don't understand the word, he catches away that which is thrown in their heart. This is he which is received seed by the great God. Uh -huh. But he that receives the seed in the stony place, in verse 20, the same as he that hears the word, and uh, anon, or immediately, rejoice, he receives it. Verse 21, yet hath he not proven himself, but he endured for a little while, and in tribulation, or persecution of God, will be called the what? The word, by God, he or she is offended. He also that receives seed among the farm, the seed that hears the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, what do they do? <laughs> Choke out the word, and he becomes unfruitful. God wants you to be fruitful. Yes. Amen. I know it's not really that good at this point you say, finger somebody's face, but God wants you to be fruitful. Come on, go ahead and do it. I give you permission. God wants you to be fruitful. God wants you to be a soul winner. 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 Amen. Somebody is concerned or you would be saved and sit right here today. Amen. Somebody who puts the blood off, uh, blood, sweat, tall and tears for you to be here. Yes. Yeah. In my case, it was my mother. It was my dad. They prayed many prayers for me. They nurtured me. They took me to church, which I didn't have a good choice for a long time. But they put it up to the word of me that when I got on my own, I wanted to serve God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Bless the Lord. And I hope nobody tells the little Jonathan, but if you, if your children will save, we'll put it right up here. Amen. I know three more children are going to get you up here, honey. I, I, this girl loves to get in front of the crowd. That's okay. I'll put that in. That's part of her makeup. That's her giving name. She's a leader. Amen. Amen. And any other. Because we've got to encourage the children. I realize I wish I put my children up more. I put them up a little bit. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But uh, somehow, somehow, when they go to church, they're diligent, they serve God. Amen. But uh, we've got to put the word in them. And you know what? In my day, they didn't even bother them. Most of the kids, parents didn't bother them putting the kids in the kindergarten until they, uh, they went to the first grade. That's right. Amen. Unless you were forced to because you had to work. But they just did, they just, they just took it for granted that the kids don't learn until they get five or six years old and seven get the first grade. But now then, this boy is learning the word at two years old. Amen. You see these guys on the TV, they're learning to read. Uh -huh. What's the letters on the on the deal? My baby can read. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it babycanread.com or something like that? Amen. Their minds are just sharp. And they can last time they learn stuff so quick. And we need to get the word in them, but they're ready for it like that. Amen. And make sure they get an understanding. Make sure they love the church. Make sure they love God. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Don't oh, hang with me here. Thank the Lord. We're going somewhere. Get the Holy Ghost. Okay. Now let's go to the 10th chapter of the book of Romans. Romans.
Romans chapter 10. Bless the Lord. Romans chapter 10. Y'all heard the point of any kind. But we're going to read the board for salvation this morning. And not just for your sake, this is to help you win others and get them reinforced in the Word. Amen. Okay. Um, let's go to verse 6. Romans 10 and 6. You got to say amen. Amen. Okay. The righteousness which is the faith speaketh on this way. On this way. Say not in thy heart, who shall up thee go up into heaven? Question mark. That is to bring down Christ from, from above. Or don't say, who shall be sent into the sea? That is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what says this? The word is not thee or close or near thee, even in thy what? Mouth. In thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Verse 9. Then if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, I've heard you quote this probably hundreds of times. If thou shalt confess that thou hast who? The Lord. The Lord Jesus. And shall believe in thy heart that what? God has raised him from the dead. Thou hey, shalt be saved. Verse 10. For with the heart of heaven and with the mouth confession of evil and other righteousness and faith in what? Salvation. Verse 11. For the scripture says, now look at verse 13. For whosoever, whosoever, is that you? Is that you? Am I whosoever? Whosoever, anybody. Anybody. Whosoever shall what? Call from the name of the Lord. Shall be saved. Shall be saved, yes. Now, when I started reading this, and the Holy Ghost, He's teaching. <laughs> He's teaching right now. He's teaching me. Amen. There's no place there that you have to help. Chew up, hot flashes. No place there that you have to have two days running all up and down your back column or your legs and arms. If you confess that your mouth and believe in your heart that God will bring you from the dead, that's not going to be saved. Yes. Praise God. Now, when I'm reading all this, God is bringing to the conversation that I've had with our son Donovan back to me. Amen. And I said, okay, thank you, Lord. When he comes up here Thursday, I'm going to talk to him about this. And the Holy Ghost said, you owe me an apology. And I said, yes, Lord. And I said, the first night he spent the night at his sister's house in front of him. Where are you going? And I said, Lord, give me the opportunity. Tomorrow night they're going to spend the night at our house, but I want to talk to him. Where are you going? Well, he came in, and I think it was 2 o'clock or 3, and I just, I pulled him away from the wall for an hour or two and prayed in. Okay, Lord, said, go down there and talk to him. I did. I said, I know you're a father. He said, what for? He could have done that to me. Just listen. I said, I have, I have also accused you and said, if you were saved, you would not do this and this and this. That's right. Let's go. Come on, Bishop. That's all right. Amen. Come on, Bishop. I'm telling you how the Lord can do this. Me. Because me, I'm from the old school. Yeah. If they do such and such and such, they, there's no way they can be saved. But I know I've heard Donnie not one but several times confess the Lord Jesus to us and to Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. If you can hold those two and sit in there with us. Praise the Lord. And to his friends. He can't wander around. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. To your own master, you stand or you fall. Amen. Your children, your husband, or not, we thank the 
is not saved, and maybe they are saved, maybe they're not. We got to quit judging and children.